Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and we are here on the blue carpet for the 33rd Annual Film Independent Spirit Awards. Hi, good to see Hi, you. Thank you. The last time we saw you, it was at the Eddie Awards. Oh, yeah. And you won. I did. I did. Maybe you're my good luck charm. Maybe that's it, <laughs> since we're the day before the Oscars. Exactly, yes. How are you preparing, like, psychologically, nerve-wise? Because I've got to imagine, it's just a lot of excitement. It is incredibly exciting and thrilling and an honor and absolutely terrifying. <laughs> but that's awesome. Are you hearing from a lot of women, young women in the industry following your footsteps, inspired by what you're doing? I, I am, surprisingly. I, obviously, it's something that's being talked about a lot right now, just in the, in the industry and in all businesses. Um, and I'm here today and at the Oscars tomorrow, I'm the only woman nominated in editing in, in, for both awards. Um, you know, which is obviously thrilling for me and an honor, and I hope that more women can come up. It's, you know, we're half the population, we should have half the jobs. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, and you know what I love, too? I love that your work's being recognized on the independent level, and then obviously on Hollywood's Biggest Night, and I think that that holds a lot of weight and a lot of value. It does. It really does. This is one of the things I really love about this film. My background is independent filmmaking. That's where I started. Um, and I've done studio films, obviously, and now we got to do this, which was really an independent movie and had all of those advantages, meaning creative time, creative space, uh, supportive people, and always going for what's best for the movie. Um, and I think a wonderful film came out of it. We had, we had the creative you know, space, which was lovely. Yeah, and I, as I said to you before, I was like, it was really wonderful to see how I felt some empathy towards a character and towards a real person who was involved with something that was really challenging and difficult to wrap your brain around. Right. Well, honestly, when the director, with whom I've worked five times, now, six times now, um, when he first called me and said we were doing a film about Tanya Harding, I was kind of like, really? Okay. <laughs> and then I read the script, which is a remarkable script, and I was like, ah, I understand. I understand what this director can bring to this script. And then obviously the cast just brought even more. And I think the thing that's really unique about I, Tanya is that it's not what you expect it to be. It's not telling you, it's not solving a mystery. It's not telling you how to think. It's just saying this is who this person is. And maybe this is why she made the choices that she did, good or bad, whatever, who knows. But I just think it's, you don't, you don't feel the same way at the end of the movie that you felt coming in. That doesn't happen often. No, no, it really doesn't. And I, I, I mean, I'm from Massachusetts, I'm from Nancy Kerrigan land, so I kind of understand, and I, I was surprised at my own reaction to the film. Yeah, I think, especially with this one, where a lot of times people come in already having an opinion that is negative, and, you know, you may not change your opinion, but I think by the end you, you feel differently, or at least have empathy and compassion for the situation. 100%. Well, congratulations. Thank we are you. rooting for you tomorrow and today, of course. Thank you. And uh, have the best weekend. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. You too. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite independent film of 2017 was.